Hey friends, welcome back to this playlist. So in this video, we are going to solve more logical CMCQs, which helps you to improve logic of coding questions. Okay, so let's start. First question, what will be output of this program? See the code and try to solve by your side. These all are options. I have already opened online GDB compiler. So let's see what is the output of this MCQ. See, nothing going to be printed. Okay. So here, null is a keyword of C. Its meaning, it prints nothing. So here, query is null pointer. Okay. Query is our null pointer. This will indicate it will not generate any error. It will give null. Null means nothing. If you want to print def percentage d okay star quality quality let's see see nothing going to be print okay because it's a null if you want to print uh, this is quality means it's a pointer integer pointer okay so if you want to uh, print address percentage p means address indicate so only here you need to put quality let's see see quality address is nil okay so i hope you got it the difference what is the use of this null keyword so output is a null pointer Next question friends see the code and try to solve and let me know your answer these all are options okay let's see what is the output of this mcq see output is a one triple zero double one six double one this is the output of this mcq how let's see inside the printf first print this one okay here x means one zero 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 one one so first going to be print one zero 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 one one okay this will done okay then this printf prints again printf count the number of character in integer okay so there are number of character one two three four five six total six so again going to be print this six this printf okay again going to be this printf is number of character okay in integers there is a one six okay so again going to be one then the again printf is there so again printf going to be print number of character so it is one already so again print one so output is one triple zero one one six one one okay this will output so output next question when memory is not going to allocated for variable options is during the initialization of that variable option b during the definition of that variable option c during the assigning of that variable and option d during the declaration of that variable so after this mcqs i hope you got initialization definition assigning and declaration different of that variable let's see what's your output if you are correct or wrong output is uh, during the declaration of that variable declaration of that variable memory is not going to be allocated okay let's see example here if you write uh, extend int i in our c code then it means it not allocated any memory for that i variable 
okay it's just declaration if you write integer i in c code then it i allocate memory okay if you go to depth in the c it's called a definition so integer i means it's a definition so definition always allocate memory okay but you write extend int i this is the only declaration so there is no memory allocation okay declaration means no memory allocation definition means memory allocated so integer i means definition memory allocated then again integer i is equal to 10 this will uh, you can say assigning i is a 10 value okay also you can say initialize i with 10 value so during the initialization and assigning purpose also there will be memory allocated okay so i hope you got it my point here next question what will be output of this program friends see the code and try to solve by your side these are our options okay let's see what is the output of this question 102 how 102 here p is our character array okay inside p coder string is uh, available okay so printf prints percentage d in p of 3 plus plus p of 3 so here p of 3 means p of 0 c p of 1 0 means o p of 2 d p of 3 means it's indicate e so here going to be print e but twist is there percentage d percentage d and here uh, character array is there so it will going to be print ascii value so what is the ascii value of e 101 okay but here pre increment is there so it will print 102 okay the so answer is 102 uh, if you want to print plus 3 okay let's see so output is obviously you know 104 okay p of 3 means 101 101 plus 3 104 so i hope you got it output is 102 next question okay friends see the code and try to solve by your side let me know your answer see what is the output see it's a runtime error okay it's not going to be compiled successfully why because p is our character array inside p coder string is there here percentage s means string provide string address provide okay but in that percentage s we are going to print value of that uh, string okay p of 0 means c we are going to be printed so in printf percentage s requires proper address of that string okay so here value going to be printed so it's give segmentation fold during run time okay so if you want to print this coder so percentage s required proper address so here you need to print only address of that character array let's see now we will get output coder okay understood now so output is a runtime error for this mcq thank you so much friends for watching this video and i hope this type of mcqs are very beneficial to you understand c code in depth and if you have any doubt then please guys feel free to ask me in comment section bye bye see you in the next video with new c mcqs